Welcome! Today we're doing the ultimate XP farm in all of Minecraft. And the materials that are needed is 64 blocks of your choice, 4 sand, 2 pistons, 3 sticky pistons, 2 smokers, 2 observers, 4 chests, 6 hoppers, 9 redstone dust, 2 slabs, 4 glass panes, 2 kelp, 2 buckets of water, 4 levers, 1 redstone torch, and 1 redstone repeater. The dimensions of the build are 5 by 7 by 5. The first thing you want to do in this build is place your first block. And on top of that block, you want to place your temporary block and one block on each side of that temporary block. You want to break that block. Next, you want to put a redstone dust right under there. And you want to put the redstone repeater facing the redstone dust. Then you want to put a redstone torch on the redstone repeater. And you'll see that it's blinking. And then you finally want to push your lever right there on that block. And to stop the sequence of blinking, you want to click the lever. And there we go. The next thing you want to do in this build is get the building block of your choice. And you'll place the block right here diagonally away from the redstone, place two, and then on this block, place two more. And then right here on these back two blocks, you're gonna place your sticky pistons. Place them like so, and then you're gonna go behind your sticky pistons, and you wanna place your two blocks right there, and you wanna carry the redstone on the ground to behind these sticky pistons on top of those blocks. And it'll be sticking out like this. So what we're going to do next is we're going to place the blocks on top of these sticky pistons. We're going to place two and then two more. And on top of these two blocks, we're going to paste our normal pistons like that. And we're going to go behind those normal pistons and we're going to put two blocks like so. And then we're going to go back in front of these pistons and we're going to place sand block right here on the sticky pistons. And make sure you place them right here on the normal pistons. And then what we're going to do after that, you want to go back to your blocks, your building blocks, and you want to cover up the sand around it. You want to go around the sand, protect it from falling and messing up the system whenever the sticky pistons and pistons start working together. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go up three blocks. So one, two, three. Keep building right there. Fill it in. So one, two, three. And we're going to do it again on this side. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then what we're going to do here is just make an archway. Remember, only cover the front side. Don't cover this middle part. The next thing we're doing this build is we're going to place two chests right here on the outside of those two blocks and we're going to go ahead and break these two blocks. We're going to crouch down, place two hoppers and we're going to go outside of these blocks like so. And we're going to crouch under, place two more hoppers and under those hoppers you're going to place your two smokers and you're going to break six blocks like this. What you're going to do is you're going to place your chest right here, the final double chest and you, to get behind those, to get behind that chest with hoppers all you got to do is just break down here, make a little staircase going down like so and then you want to get right here, crouch, place your hoppers. And then it should look something like this. So this next step of the build, we're going to go ahead and get them to the entrance of this little arch we made. And we're going to place the two glass planes only on the bottom row right now. So we're going to crouch down. So if you're in survival mode, it makes it a lot easier. We're going to crouch down, place the water buckets on the top here, both water buckets. We're going to then go to the kelp, place the kelp on the sand, and then fill in the glass planes like so. And we're going to go up to the top of the build, and we're going to use our stone slabs and fill that in. And the stone slabs will keep the water source intact on the top but and not destroy it, but also keep you know you or mobs potentially from falling in there. The last step you want to do in this build is you want to come to the back of the build and you want to build two blocks out, so one, two, and then you want to build this way. So you want to build one, two, three, four, and five. And you want to build one up like this. And you'll see why in a second. So we're going to start over here. We're going to start with the redstone. Put all the redstone in and stop right here. Stop right here, put an observer facing this way, that's important, see, make the face face this way and make the other face face the other face. <laughs> so make them face each other. And so what we're going to put on this back wall is a sticky piston like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this because we're going to have to put the lever on it like this. And then this will be used as the thing that cuts down the kelp. So and this is the end of the build right here and the, the last two le levers you have I'm sorry they go right here, I already put them on there, off the video, but they go right here on the chest. And so what they do on this chest is they go on here and they keep the kelp inside from going through, straight through the uh, chest so you can pull it out and get the XP. So we're going to go ahead and show you how this build works. So we're going to get this going, that, that's the ticker, it just grew that kelp really quick, and it's going to cut it down, like so. And so as you see the kelp is constantly cutting down, and it rarely gets stuck, but we're going to go ahead and wait here an hour or so and wait for this chest to fill up. I've been doing this for a little bit already and then went back and edited it a little bit to change it up. But we're going to wait an hour or so and then see what happens. Everyone, we have waited about an hour or so and we got a double chest here filled a little over halfway with some dry kelp. And so what we're going to do here is I already have my machine off. You can have it off or on, it doesn't really matter. 
But what we have here is our smokers. And as you can see, whenever something is cooked up, it goes straight into the hopper like so. And so what we're going to do with this lever is we're going to flick it on. And what that does is it keeps the item inside the smoker so we can pull it out and get the XP from the smoker. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this process right here. So we're going to start right here. Let's see. Get it. Get it. Where are we at? Already at 20 levels, y'all. 19 levels. So keep getting the dry kelp like crazy. Don't stop. Keep going back and forth. Keep going back and forth. Already at 29. And boom. Already at 32. That is crazy, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but this to me, and it's a fact. This is by far the most effective XP farm in all of Minecraft. This is 1.18 and is definitely usable right now. Definitely use it before they patch it. Um, it's awesome, y'all. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my other videos soon to come. It's my first one, baby. You can join the ride. Join the fun that we're going to have on this channel. Peace out.